this entire Kiki Palmer story between her and her boyfriend is exactly why I mind my business. It's exactly why I mind my business. But maybe it's a good thing that it happened because it definitely exposed a lot when it comes to the way that y'all think, when it comes to the way that y'all think about men, and when it comes to the way that y'all view women. Want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip wait 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 now i love y'all and i love doing youtube but y'all know youtube be on that bullshit and right now it's quite literally the motherfucking ghetto and listen if you know me from way back when then you know it's two things about your girl number one i hate hate being anybody's best kept secret and number two if it don't make dollars, it don't make Sky no motherfucking sense, ho. So with that said, the best way to help me help you and keep the fun going is to join the Patreon, baby. Now I know I've struggled with consistency and whatnot in the past. I get it. 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 But listen, baby, when I create a fun is impacted, then that makes it hard for me to do the content that y'all love, whether that be story times, commentary, hell, even my motherfucking music. Like, it makes it extremely hard to do. So I'm telling y'all now, if you're only experiencing me through this platform, which is YouTube, then baby, you are only getting half of the tea. So head on over to Patreon to get the full Sky Santana experience. And also, because a lot of people have been asking me like, oh, Sky, when you bring in your story times back, oh, what happened to the laptop? What happened to those videos like from 2016? That channel that I have that I was doing story times on, that channel from 2016 is no longer. But here's the good thing about Patreon. So now it's 2023. I'm older. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> well, a whole different fucking gender now. But listen, how cool and exciting and fun would it be if I went back and I retold some of the old stories that you guys knew and loved from me but from a grown and older grown and sexy 30 year old mature perspective like how, how dope would that be so make sure that y'all go down to the description box you click on the link to get to my patreon and y'all motherfucking subscribe ho definitely make sure that y'all follow me on twitter okay because I swear I'd be over there talking to myself like I be live reacting and live tweeting in real time to the fuck shit that y'all be putting on Beyonce's internet so definitely make sure that you follow me on twitter so you can keep up with the engagement and what stocks and definitely make sure that you stream my music too okay because I talk shit but I also write hits okay so don't be dumb bitch because you ain't dumb Bitch, come back to the video. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chi Chi. And listen, we are back for another motherfucking let's talk about it. It's an old let's talk about it. It's an old let's talk about it, but not really. I mean, it shit just happened last week, but like, child, the way this shit happens every day. Listen, so I'm not going to do a super deep dive on this on Beyonce's internet. Not today. I'm not going to do a super deep dive, but there are things about it that I do want to talk about. Um, I feel like by this point now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, baby, I mean the title, okay? The whole Kiki and what's the boyfriend's name? Darius? Is it is it Darius? Darion? Darius Dalton is his name? Okay. The whole story between Kiki and Darius, right? Now, listen. I don't know why StreamYard is acting weird right now. I don't know why. Okay. Small ass screen, but I'll take it, I guess. Basically, last week or two weeks ago, Usher was doing his concert. Y'all know that Usher is out there in Vegas. Kiki Palmer went to go visit. Okay. And Usher brought her up on stage. Kiki was wearing a scantily clad outfit. Okay. Had her ass out. Had her titties out. Okay. And was covered up. Yes. But in nude illusion. Like. Okay. Darius had a couple of things to say. He said, but you're a mom though. It's the outfit for me. Something to that effect. Social media lit his ass up. Then they unfollowed each other. And listen. I pretty much stayed out of that conversation and chose to like really mind my business because for one, I mean, I, I clearly love Kiki. I mean, she is my intro. Okay. And she's been my intro like for like the last year. Okay. 
So I love me some Kiki Palmer. I grew up with Kiki. I love her. I love her music. I love everything about her. I love that now people are finally starting to come around because I've been saying that Kiki's been that girl since Akila in the fucking beat. Like, so I'm glad to see her like really coming into her own, coming in, you know, to her of age moment. Like I'm, I'm living for it. I'm glad. But I told some of my business because before this whole story with Darius came out, there were several interviews where Kiki was talking that shit and kind of talking spicy. And it had me already feeling like, oh, y'all broke up. Unless you're like speaking of, you know, maybe like an old relationship or just like, you know, just talking your shit in general. The vibes was given, oh, they broke up. And listen, like I said, I didn't plan on doing a super deep dive with this because I am in the middle of cooking and I only just wanted to film something real quick for like 10 minutes, okay? So maybe go do your own research, okay? But there are interviews out there where Kiki was talking that shit and there's one particular, right, that has now gone viral and become a meme and then after social media lit Darius up and then somebody remixed that song, went back, found that interview that she did like a week before the Usher incident. They remixed remix the interview into a song and then Kiki was seen dancing to it or whatever. But basically, Kiki has been talking that shit of, if you want to act up, baby, I'm going to act out. Point blank in a period. And there was several different interviews where I seen her speaking in ways of like that and speaking in ways of like, well, if somebody doesn't want to treat me right, well, you know, I need somebody that's going to make me a priority or, you know, I'm not going to put my uh, love in, and my love for you above my love for my career. Like there were several different interviews that I saw with her talking that shit before this whole thing with Usher dropped. So by the time it dropped with Usher, I was like, oh. Okay, I see, I see. They already broken up, right? And I, I didn't even have to wait on the whole confirmations from them unfollowing each other on it. No, like, I just knew from the, like, because I'm like, no partner of mine is about to be out here sitting here going in like you single. And then, and so when I saw the comment that Darius made about, oh, but you a mom now, I immediately looked at it like, okay, either they maybe got into an argument or he's purposely trolling and that's their sense of humor, right? But then he doubles down on it. You know, social media obviously gets involved because y'all feel like, okay, well, you put the business out there. Y'all put us in the business. So now we're going. And I wish y'all would stop saying that because at the end of the day, y'all be in people's business whether they put you there or not. Because a lot of y'all are miserable. Nosy as fuck and miserable, right? And it gives me something to talk about to get paid for. Okay, I got a job to do. But a lot of y'all be in people's business, whether they put you there or not. So cut that out, first of all. Second of all, like I said, I did feel like he was trolling. But then when he started doubling down and then y'all started letting go and letting have, it was just like, it became too fucking much. It became too much because I was seeing everything from, oh, well, who is he to tell a woman? And see, y'all always policing a black woman's body. And y'all know how y'all start doing Y'all know how the fuck y'all start doing. Y'all just be ready. Y'all be ready to go ahead and put that suit on so y'all could come and say the day and ooh, protect black women. And... I will never understand why y'all allow yourselves to get so riled up. I will never understand. And I say this as a black trans woman in plus size. I will never understand why y'all let any of these campaigns because that's really what it is why any of these campaigns and protests and movements why y'all let it ride y'all up so much baby live your life astrology and the universe still gonna whoop that ass if you ain't doing right by your karma on top of all that so like baby you got bigger fish to fry that's just where i come from it okay and come from it with it whatever go watch my stories how get ready with me the last one that i posted to deeply understand more of what the fuck i'm trying to say and what i'm talking about okay but when it comes to this whole kiki Palmer shit like i just really did not like the discussions that i was seeing because i've been saying for a while i'm tired of the gender wars i'm tired i feel like if you say something positive about a male you're male identified and it's like niggas ain't shit niggas ain't been shit since i was six years old but guess what truth be told a lot of y'all bitches aren't either y'all are just as bad it's just not spoken about as much but the same way that we're gonna drag a kevin samuels and, and for having a podcast and what they doing that's spreading and lies to men y'all been doing it for years and decades basketball wives loving hip-hop like all of these women-based reality shows that do the same exact fucking thing do the same exact fucking thing i'm not here to take up for men but i'm not here to take up for women either none of y'all are shit all of y'all are trash but i'm just so tired of this one-way conversation okay and so when it comes to this whole darius situation here's the way that i feel about it right 
assuming they were still together, or let's just say that if they were still together, right? And whatever, right? Even though I felt like none of my business, they already clearly broken up before it was, okay. Let's assume they are, okay. Should he have posted that? No. Because social media is a dangerous place. And again, y'all are miserable. So you should already have the wherewithal to know social media is going to go in. Social media is going to have an opinion because social media has an opinion whether or not he would have posted that. Like y'all would have an opinion anyways. Y'all would have. Who knows? Y'all probably would have been on the complete opposite side. Like, girl, don't you got a man at home? Are you all over? Like, like, come on now. Darius may have got the conversation going, but don't sit and act like, don't sit and act like. Y'all know the fucking conversation would have been. Maybe it wouldn't have been as loud. Maybe motherfuckers wouldn't have been as outraged because, again, anytime you think in, in, in the perspective of a man, then you're male-identified, right? Right, right, right. It's The woman is right at all times, according to y'all, right? But there would have been people saying, okay, now, hold on, now, hold on, wait a minute. Not exactly policing Kiki's body, but there, if Davius never would have said something and we just saw Kiki up there getting serenaded, half naked as she was, there would have been some sort of conversation. Maybe not as up, but some sort of conversation. And the fact that there was conversation about that is okay. Now, Daddy was less than smart for posting what he did on the internet because, again, y'all jumping and having opinions. But how he felt and what he said was not wrong. Y'all ain't fucking him. Y'all ain't fucking him. Y'all not married to him. Y'all not in a relationship with him. And before I even forget that point, because I, I be thinking about shit, and then be like, oh, I'm going to come back to it later. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back to it now. Y'all keep throwing out marriage out there. First of all, in one breath, y'all want to say that marriage is a piece of paper and doesn't mean anything. No wonder the divorce rate so goddamn high. Okay? Because y'all just out here. I mean... But also, I'm probably speaking to a demographic that, remember, y'all y'all put chemistry over everything. Y'all forget completely about compatibility and just focus on the fact that you like somebody. You want to fuck somebody. And that's all that matters in a relationship. Marriage is a fucking business. So let's start there. Okay? That's a whole deep dive episode on its own. But aside from that, on one breath, we want to say, oh, marriage doesn't matter. Marriage doesn't matter. Marriage doesn't matter. But then here y'all keep saying, put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. You can't have an opinion if you ain't got a ring on it. Baby, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. This shouldn't take a piece of paper and a piece of material wrapped around your finger for a motherfucker to show up as their truest form, as their truest self. Baby, don't start acting like that once we get engaged and once we don't walk down the aisle. No, if that's truly, truly who you are, I want to see that during the dating phase so I can make the decision whether or not that works for me, right? So y'all think y'all eating when y'all saying... Baby, you not his his you not her um husband. You not her husband. You not her husband. She ain't got no ring on her finger. What the fuck does that matter? They still in a relationship. They still in relation to one another. He was less than smart for saying what the fuck he said. But if you bring it down to the foundation of how he felt, he's not wrong for how he felt. How you gonna tell somebody else how to move in their own relationship? And then a lot of y'all not even in successful fucking relationships. Like, I come from the school of, I'll be damned if I ask for directions from motherfuckers who ain't never been where I'm trying to go. Everybody out here giving advice but ain't in a successful relationship. Ain't in a fucking successful marriage of their own. Coming from broken houses and broken homes. So yes, looking at social media, I kind of do agree with Darius when he's like, oh, what as a head of my family, da -da -da, like, and y'all had things to say about that. Let that man figure that shit out. Let them figure that shit out. But social media gets involved. Social media has an opinion. And then it becomes, oh, you need to hurry up and lead that man. You need to hurry up and da 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 And it's just like, y'all not in that relationship. Y'all don't know what the fuck they going through. Everybody talking about red flags, red flags, red flags. Like, girl, where was the red flags when that nigga was knocking you upside your fucking head? Where was the red flags when you was born into a fucking single parent home? Like, please, please projecting trauma from y'all lives onto this celebrity who y'all do not know. We can love on Kiki all day and have a Kiki when Kiki is on screen, but we do not know her. We do not know what she allows in her relationship. We do not know what her boundaries are, what her restrictions are, what her insecurity. We don't know none of that. And y'all show y'all ass and y'all show y'all cards every single fucking time it comes to these celebrities. Y'all do this shit every time with Carisha and D. How many times has Carisha told y'all to stay the fuck out of her business and telling y'all, listen, me and him, we just talking. That's not nobody I'm taking serious and all the social media. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, girl. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. 
Sheree and Martel have not once said that they are in a committed relationship, and yet every single fucking week y'all reviewing and tweeting about Real Housewives of Atlanta and Love and Marriage Huntsville and keep going off thinking y'all eating by talking about, oh, Martel ain't claiming her, Martel ain't claiming her. When have they ever publicly claimed each other? They've been saying from the start. They mess around, they fuck around, they date. I said this on one of my videos. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. Maybe I need to include it in this one. I don't know. But there is levels to this shit. There's friends, then there's talking, then there's going out, there's seeing people, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But everything doesn't automatically equate to happy, committed, love, relationship, one-on-one. -on -one. Everything doesn't commit to that. And that'd be my problem when it comes to all of this shit because it's just like all of this shit adds to the social propaganda, the social conditioning because it's just like it's just this group thought of a, a thing being a certain way. And I do not like the fact that this really became a fucking gender war because women sat there and felt like, oh, we're going to make this into a protect black women issue. Let's protect Kiki. Oh, don't be policing a woman's body. Bitch, at the time that we in a fucking relationship, I don't give a fuck if you're a woman, man, cat, dog, whatever. I do have a sag. Now, at the end of the day, you want to do what you want to do and you got the right to do what you want to do. But understand that there is consequences. And that's what y'all don't understand. Because y'all want to go about this world and moving in ways to which you can do anything that you want to do without accountability. And that's not fucking realistic. It's not. You have every fucking right to go out there and trust any type of way that you want to. I ain't got to stay with you. Just like you ain't got to stay with me. Okay? You can do what you want to do. But understand that there are risks and, and precautions that come with it. That come with it. That come with it. And so a lot of the shit that I was saying, oh, that's her body, you know. Um, oh, I wish my man would. First of all, you don't even have a man. Let's start there. Not that a man is a prize in 2023, but my point. My point. Cut it the fuck out. Let me get into some of these comments. I'm already a little over, over the time that I wanted to spin up here, but let's go ahead and get into some of these comments. The backlash is real when all he had to do was send a direct text to his woman about how he felt. I completely agree. Honestly, I feel like she was acting too much of a groupie while having a man at home. She damn near was acting like she was ready to take her panties off. And she was. She was. I'm not going to go back. Like I said, but listen, this story is over a week old. And if I really wanted to do a deep dive on this, I could. But I'm not. I had the material and shit bookmarked safe. But I've saved so much since then. I don't feel like going back and looking for it. Because I do love a good receipt. Hold on. Child. Because here's my thing. Here's my thing. Everybody rush into her defense and it's like, where is the accountability? Where is the fucking accountability? Like, there is a video that I saw of Kiki, right? Let me see if I can hurry up and find it. Let me see if I can hurry up and find it. There's a video that I saw of Kiki sitting in the audience and again, half naked. It's before she got on stage and she was just sitting there thirsting over Usher. Now, mind you, again, I want everybody to consider they were likely already broken up. So if they were already broken up, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But if they were in a relationship, mind you, we don't know that they're broken up. So actually, and wait, it's not on my Twitter. It's not on my Twitter bookmarks. It must have been on TikTok. And child, good luck finding that. Yeah, I ain't going to be able to find that. Okay. Oh, well. Like I said, the story old anyways. So my point is this, like, Y'all can't say to Darius, like, oh, he shouldn't put that online. Well, look what Kiki put online. Kiki uploaded a whole video of her sitting there looking at Usher on screen, and she... <sighs> as this man was on stage gyrating naked, okay? Butt-ass naked, shirt of all of that. And you sitting it like... So it's like, again... Had Darius not said something, there still would have been a conversation there, but I doubt that the conversation would have been had because y'all taking this protect black women shit a little too far and there's zero accountability. Because as far as we know, and I don't even think they still have come out and said that they're in a they're not in a relationship. The point still stands. Whether or not Darius said something, not only are you on stage have niggered around this man like that, you in the audience looking at Usher thirsting over it like if listen if Darius should have sent her a private text then Kiki should have sent that video to her man if it's okay since everything since it's okay since it's okay and she did not wrong she should have sent that to her man mm-hmm mm-hmm 
or sent that to her girlfriends. That shouldn't have been uploaded online. And mind you, again, I love Kiki. That's my best friend. But I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat and, and bullshit like y'all keep doing. Like y'all keep doing. No, absolutely the fuck not. If it was wrong for him to send that and tweet that, then she should not be uploading content of her literally thirsting and salivating over this man on stage. Why are you uploading that? Yeah, Darius put us into the relationship. No, technically Kiki did because she uploaded that before she got on stage. But ain't nobody talking about that. Everybody just <laughs> pouncing on him because it's just like, listen, y'all hate niggas. Y'all do. Y'all hate men. Y'all do. Y'all do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, there are a lot of people who are male identified, but yes, there's a lot of people that also hate men and are women identified if that's a thing. We're going to make it one. And I'm sorry. We can call bullshit out, but we're going to do it on both sides. Mm-hmm. And not one of them things where it's like, oh, my ass is getting handed to me so bad, now I got to include somebody else in it to take some of the heat off me. No. No, because this is a situation where everybody was wrong. We can admit that he should not have posted that, but at the end of the day, that's their relationship. We don't know what works. We don't know what works. Just like our open relationship works for Carisha and it may not work for you, that's their relationship, not yours. So it's the same shit. It's the same shit. And it can't be, oh, policing a woman's body, policing a black woman's body because you're in a relationship with a man. I'm sorry. Fuck all of that. Oh, it's a once in a lifetime experience. No, it's not. No, it's not. Usher's still, Usher's still doing his residency until October, until Libra season. It's not a once in a lifetime opportunity, baby. We might be broken up before then. And then you can get a chance to come back. Or I'm sure you can see a concert of his in, in 20 years or however long, okay? After we break up, like if it's meant to be, like it's not a once in a lifetime opportunity. And even if it was, is that that's worth losing this? What you got at home? Because the next thing that I saw was motherfuckers were sitting there trying to call. What's uh? Oh, I almost said something. I almost said a slur. Um, the Winnie. Motherfuckers saw Winnie sitting on top of her man when Usher was coming through. And people calling her corny. Like, oh, this is the corny shit y'all resort into now. And it's just like, actually, it's corny overall. Because at this point now, Usher sees that he's going viral. So now he's intentionally going after celebrities. But y'all dumbasses missed that point. Y'all missed that point. Y'all missed that point because you want to further push your narrative. You're missing the point that Usher is noticing all of this attention and traction to his show. So he's intentionally going after celebrities, right? Now, granted, yes, yeah, front row, whatever, access to Usher because they got money to have the tickets. Not necessarily, baby. Because how many of y'all regular folks sit in there in Club Renaissance? So don't even try to make that point, okay? And y'all calling Winnie uncool for the fact that she's sitting on her man's lap because she respects her man more. Then it's five seconds with ushers for a little for a little taste of viral reality. Like, girl, girl, I'm sorry. It wouldn't be me and it wouldn't be my man. I'm sorry. All of this is worth losing for, for that. No. I don't care if it's your dream. No, no. no. Because that's going to happen and then what, what's going to be next? We're going to start talking about how I'll pass it? No. Get all of that shit out your system before we meet. No. Absolutely the fuck not. And y'all are not going to sit here and keep continuing to abuse the protect black woman slogan to excuse ratchet ass behavior. It's a race to the fucking bottom. Like I said with the sexy red video. And I'm sure there's probably somebody commenting right now. Protect black women. Shut the fuck up. Because y'all are misusing that movement completely and entirely. Protect black women doesn't mean go out there dressed like a fucking slut. Even if it's a professional site, and even if it's Kiki, and be gyrating on a man on stage, or be thirsting over a man on stage when you got a whole ass nigga at home, that's not how I work. That's not how I work. And again, they they could have been broken up two years ago. It don't fucking matter. It's the response that I'm responding to. Okay, let's go back to the comments one more time. Thought he could be for Usher. Now he's being ushered out the house. Men just need to be providers because when we're not, it's a woman's DNA to not respect you the same. When you're the provider and leader of the household, your woman has so much respect for you that she wouldn't even consider playing with you like this, let alone another man hold you and sing to you with your ass out. Wouldn't even be a thought. And I'm so sick of y'all homophobic bitches with that train of thought, okay? Because it's, it's, it's looking like we're going to have to start doing some deeper dives. It really is. It really is. Because I'm, I'm so sick of the gender wars. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. How y'all want these niggas to listen? Niggas ain't shit. 
We can agree on that. Niggas grow up to not be shit. But we're going to stop acting like women don't also have a hand and play a part in that. Okay? We could, we could talk about the mass incarceration and how niggas ain't in the house and fathers ain't there and the streets raising them and this and the third. We could talk about all of that. Okay? But we can also talk about the homophobia that starts. The attack on masculinity. The, the attack on, oh, you're not man enough if you're not doing X, Y, and Z. Uh, and then y'all want, like, all of it plays a part. And that's my thing, right? I'm not here. I'm not that channel that is going to just every, every video that I do, every blog that I do, every whatever, just penalize one person. No, we're going to take a look at the situation as a whole. And I'm so sick of women evading accountability. I'm so sick of it. Yes, men ain't shit. Yes, they get around these other ain't shit niggas and get socialized and programmed due to society to become even more ain't shit. But it all starts at home, baby, because that popped out of your coochie. What did you instill and raise in them? Where did it go wrong? Is that 100% your fault? No, it's not at all. At all. But what we're going to stop doing is, I ain't in it, Bennett. I ain't in it. I ain't in it. Because look at this comment right here. Look at this comment right here. Which brings me to, see, I know my shit in there probably burnt. I already know my food burnt. Fuck it. This brings me to another point that I was almost forgot about. The next thing that y'all started doing after y'all cursed this man out, talking about protect women's bodies, the very thing that y'all did was y'all started attacking this man's masculinity. And then y'all wonder why these niggas are so fucking fragile. We keep saying magic, that's right, da, 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 but it starts within the fucking home. This is what y'all do. This is how y'all raise y'all sons. Then when, when they get out there to the world, then this is the women that they dating. Look at how y'all act if a man paints his fingernails. Oh, you you a little gay? You a little you you a little? Come on now, come on now. This Twitter threads literally threads on Twitter of people talking about how they tired of people talking about the same conversations over and over again in twenty twenty three. One of which being, ladies, is it gay if dot 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 fill in the blank? The first thing that y'all did was attack that man's masculinity. Oh, he don't make enough. Oh, Kiki's the breadwinner. Oh, you need to stay up position and play your role as a housewife. Like, what? What? And then y'all get mad when these niggas act the way that they do. Don't give them a right to act the way that they do because, again, hurt people hurt people deal with your trauma, right? But all of this protect black women and then like, again, y'all misusing it. I'm with you when it's right. I'm, I'm gonna always protect black women when it's right. But we're not going to misuse statements like that to sit here and be the same terrorists that we claiming these niggas are. Because you do not get to, if, 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 if motherfuckers can't police your body, you don't get to police their masculinity. You don't. That's why I tell all of y'all ain't shit. None of y'all are shit. Because how is that okay? That story comes out and everybody going in. Nothing but black women going in on this man. Say, talking about his, his masculinity and calling him a housewife and telling him to play his position and this, that, and the third. And yet you got bitches in the comments right now talking about, oh, I need a provider. Because we could do the deep dives and conversations about why you settling for a Darius if you looking for a fucking provider. Let's start there. Why are you taking what the fuck you could get? You that damn desperate? You that damn desperate for love. You ain't got enough self-love. Oh, child, maybe I need to end this video because I feel like I, I feel like I'd have offended a, a, a bunch of y'all. And if I did, good, good. Because if I didn't say it, then it wasn't said. If I didn't say it, then it wasn't said. And only a only a dog that got hit with the rock is going to holler. Okay. Throw a rock into a crowd of dogs. The only one that's going to holler is the one that got hit. So if you felt hit, but it's all a ball of confusion. Okay? All a ball of confusion. All a ball of confusion. When I had to take time away from doing my entertainment and story times and I had to step into the spirituality channel, it made me really get to know me, do my shadow work, all of this, that, and the third. When I started doing personal readings for other people, I saw the inner workings of the mind. So, what makes people tick? Why they are the way that they, they are? Where they come from? This, that, and the third. And you realize certain things. And this whole everything is just a man's fault or everything is the white man's fault. Everybody has a part to play collectively. 
Hell, our whole existence is built off of collective consciousness. But that's a that's probably a topic y'all ain't even ready to get into. Ain't shit going to change until we start doing better collectively, men and women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you can't say, this why I'm fucking on Usher. Because niggas don't want to be providers. But then attack their masculinity at every chance. Right? And some of y'all are meant to be the provider. Some of y'all, like, that's another thing. Because we can get into human and social condition, and some of y'all are the provider. And you're not meant to follow behind a man. Because maybe you have more masculine energy than a man out here. Book a person to read it. I can tell you if you do. Okay? But all of this, all of this social media chatter, and it, this is the shit that gets on my fucking nerves. It is. This, this, this is the shit that gets on my nerves. On Kiki's phone, sitting in Kiki's house using electricity that Kiki pays for, and all these providing this audacity. This is what I'm talking about. Like, y'all just, ooh, oh my God, this toxic masculinity and then this toxic femininity. But then you want these same men to protect you. You want these same men to protect you. I'm like, like I can't be the only one. Don't get me wrong. Yes, there are niggas that ain't shit. And so, yes, when they not being shit and they got 10, 20 girlfriends, yes, drag them. But I used to say, even in my story times, I'm so tired of hearing this niggas ain't shit narrative. At what point are you going to learn? It's the same thing like with TLC, right? TLC got robbed by Peaches or whatever the girl was, and they didn't make no money because they signed a, bi a bad contract. I don't want to hear that shit in 2023. There's enough material and enough evidence out there to show that this is what happens, and if you blindly go into something expecting a certain result, right? like if you a new artist that ends up getting scammed out money, but you're so eager to get a record deal because it's going to change your life, that's the same exact shit as you being so eager and thirsty to have some consistent dick around, okay? And to have somebody love on your ass instead of going to therapy and loving on your damn self and doing this self-fucking-help. It's the same fucking thing. So cry me a river later, okay? Cry me a fucking river. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Niggas ain't been shit since 1982. Why are we still having this conversation in 2023? Why? Why? And it doesn't help when niggas ain't shit and then you decide to take that out on your child, okay? Which is what a lot of women do. And that's another conversation we could have. Because there's a lot of women out here. Yeah, we could talk about mass incarceration and this, that, and the third and how niggas ain't shit. And then you got single parent households. But then there's a lot of single parent households with single mothers who look at their first child, their son, as a, as a king of the family, as a black king. And now he got to step up like he the fucking husband. And y'all raising y'all sons to be your husband. Baby, it's all connected. It's all connected. And I'm just so tired of only hearing one side of the story. We mad at the Kevin Samuel podcast. And yes, be mad at them because they are spewing the toxic masculinity and social condition and shit, you know, further into the community. But at the same time, I'm just as mad at all of these women-led things where that's all we hear on Basketball Wives, on Love and Hip Hop, on, on you know, all of these women-based shows, Real Housewives, and y'all all got the same fucking story. If anything, the way to move forward is for everybody to come and collectively sit at a table or collectively have a show together and then openly discuss without being offended, okay, but have an open conversation. Have an open conversation about wants, needs, thoughts, insecurities, all of this, that, and third, without it turning into, oh, you said that, protect women's bodies, or, oh, she said that, fuck that bitch, she a bird. No. Because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm not having this conversation. I'm not having this same conversation in 2032. I'm not. Y'all can have it. Y'all can have it. I'm already up here way too long. I'll talk to y'all in another one. You can let me know how you felt down in the comment box below as if I gave a fucking child. Stream my music as if you give a fuck. Bye. I'm trying to fuck now, so maybe let's dance. Fuck up my baby right here on my legs, man.